Hey guys, this is Ragguy Gaming here today, and today I am back with another, I guess, kind of classic Roblox scripting tutorial. And today we are going to be doing the Money Giver. And so there are probably a ton of better ways to give monies to players, but again this is just a good learning experience and it's fun to kind of go back through roblox history and do old scripts and stuff Be especially because i always wondered how they worked when i started playing now if you remember you would normally see stuff like this in like a vip room that you would have to buy a shirt for like 10 tickets or something and then you would get unlimited money because they would have a ton of buttons like these lying on the floor that they probably pulled out of free models but as you can see, I accidentally just hit the button and it gave me $100. And so the, as much as I step on it, it will keep giving me more money. And so let us take a look at how this works. So let me stop this. And so basically all I did for the button was I just made a plate and I just named it head and grouped it into a model. And I put a decal on it you don't have to I just got it out of the decals um, just because I was too lazy to make one myself but <laughs> and then I just put a script inside of the part and so one thing to know before we get into that script you will need a leaderboard for this to work with a money int value inside of a leader stats and so just to show you what that looks like if you haven't seen our tycoon tutorial on the leaderboard this is what your script should look like um, at least for this normally with a tycoon you'd have some kind of tycoon value right here but we're not going to worry about for this for that for this one and so right here is where you will change your money to whatever you want it to be called this will show up on the leaderboard so you can have money cash coins stuff like that i just like money um, you could have dollars and this is the initial value and so if you haven't um made one of these yet for your game i recommend just doing something like this unless you want a tycoon one then go see my tycoon tutorial and so now after we looked at that let's go ahead and hop into the actual script and so this first line is what you will want to change so this will be what is given to the player every time they step on the button so instead of 100 let's do 1 million and this debounce just makes sure that the player can't like sit on the button and have it go like a million times <laughs> and so next we have this touched event and it checks to see if the debounce is set to false which it is because we set it false up here it sets it equal to true and then it checks to see if the there is a humanoid see if there is a humanoid inside the same model as the part that touched the button and this basically just confirms that it is a player that touched the button and then this line will try to get the player tries to get the player from the character and so it gets this player service and gets the player from the character and we reference the parts parent and then it just makes sure that that worked okay because sometimes you can have something that has a humanoid for example this button has a humanoid and so this is just an extra step so our script won't break and then lastly we check to see if they have a leader stats so this line will check to see if the player has a leader stats and normally this is a folder or an int value or a model it can be pretty much whatever as long as it's called leader stats 
and then we just make sure that it exists and then we find the money value now this is the other line you are going to want to change so whatever you called your money on your leaderboard is what you're going to want to put right here that's why I have money but if it's cash on your leaderboard you're gonna want this to be called cash or coins or whatever and then this line just adds on the money now if you notice down here we have a little extra at the end and all this line does is change the name of the model to represent how much money the player is going to get when they step on the button so if I come back out here you can see that this just says money giver but when I run the game it says get one million dollars and so that's all that is doing and so that's pretty much the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something please subscribe for future tutorials and i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you all later goodbye